Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be looking at the Star Wars Unleashed Battle Packs uh, Evacuation at Echo Base. Uh, this pack is pretty cool, and unfortunately I do not have the uh, uh, packaging, so we're just going to have to dive into the figures. Uh, I'll start with this one here. He's a uh, Rebel Trooper in the Hoth outfit, and he has two pieces of articulation. Oh, excuse me, three. He has a swivel head, swivel arm, and another swivel arm. As you can see here, he's uh, pretty well detailed. See if the camera will focus. And he looks pretty good for his size, uh, which is mm, a little over two inches. So he's pretty well detailed, especially in his backpack and in the wrinkles of his clothes. And the other Rebel Trooper here has one of these uh, larger uh, blaster cannons. And he's uh, got a larger base. And I will say, it's not really showing up on camera, but these uh, bases are really well sculpted. Uh, the snow is, so that's really cool. And uh, this guy here has no articulation, uh, but I don't think he really needs it. Uh, just because this is probably the coolest pose you'll put him in. So that's really nice that they included him. And probably the main point of this pack is the uh, Hoth turrets, uh, the first one here. I'm not sure what these are called, uh, but it is very well detailed. As you can see, there's uh, some snow on the base. And uh, it's not showing up on camera, but the uh, snow is uh, painted in a, not metallic, but a shiny uh, high gloss paint. and. The rest of the uh, turret is done in like a satin uh, white, and it is uh, weathered uh, really nicely. This v uh, this uh, turret has a uh, little bit of a play feature. If you twist either the head or the base, it does this clicking here, and it pushes out the uh, turret there, as you can see, which is pretty cool. And if you spin it in the other direction, it doesn't do anything, only if you spin it in this direction. So that's kind of cool. The other turret here is the uh, radar dish style one, and it just has a swivel. But I must say it's really well detailed. I'll go ahead and give you a size here. It's about four and a half inches tall. And since I didn't do it for the other one, I'll go ahead and measure this one. It's about, let's see here, four and a half. So they're about the same height uh, if you stand them next to each other. But uh, back to the radar dish here. On this side, it's got an open panel showing a little bit of the uh, interior of the uh, gun. And it's really well detailed. All of these like uh, studs are really, they're actually like sculpted on there. It looks really nice. The radar dish itself looks really nice. Again, it's got the snow on the base. It's really nicely weathered. So that's really cool. Uh, the pack also comes with this. It's some type of... Uh, crate or battery or generator or something and it's done in the same color as the uh, radar dish turret so that's really nice I'm glad they included that and finally both of these uh, turrets come with a base it comes in two separate pieces as you can see here this one's obviously for the larger uh, one the turret can fit here in any direction so if you want the mounds in front of the turret you can do that if you want them behind the turret, you can do that. And as you can see, there's uh, footprints sculpted all over it. It's got pipes and blaster uh, marks, which is cool. The bottom is just, uh, you know, it's just um, like the opposite of this, just not painted. And the other one here, it's a little bit smaller. As you can see here, uh, radar dish can go in only two directions. This way or this way. Obviously you can spin it, so it doesn't really matter. And it's got the same type of designs on it. Same bottom. I will mention that these pieces do fit together like this or like this. So if you wanted to buy more than one of these packs, you could have a huge line uh, of these like uh, turrets lined up like this. And that will probably look really cool for a display. They are out of scale with the uh, 
three and three quarter inch figures, obviously, uh, but I think they would still be nice for some force perspective uh, in some type of diorama or something like that. Uh, and I would say overall, if you find this at a good price and you're interested in owning a little piece of the Hoth battle, uh, I would say it's definitely worth picking up. Probably the best uh, Force, or not Force Unleashed, uh, Unleashed packs that was uh, released actually. So uh, tell me what you think about it in the uh, comments section below, and I'll see you later.